Ilana, and Brian. These are the top five do's and don'ts of Israel and India and the Massa adventure. Number one. Um, <laughs> drink, one. drink lots of coffee while you're here because the coffee in Israel and India <laughs> is not the same. You could bring some of that instant, like, poor coffee. Oh, sorry. Look at that. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. You can bring some of that instant coffee. Isaac actually brought some from Starbucks. It's good. You bring that. Just ask for hot water at the Indian shops, and they'll give you it for free. Okay, number two. Don't complain. Yeah. No one likes a complainer, and if you want your trip to go really well, you're, you're going to be happy. Just be joyful. It's going to be great. you got to put it on every morning. Just put on that face and smile and just realize you're in Israel or you're in India. Like, not a lot of people our age get to do that. That is awesome. Okay, number three. What is number three? Oh, enjoy even the hottest days. Yes. There's going to be days that are going to be just... You're going to drench in sweat, and it's going to be gross. But you got to enjoy it because those days only come once or twice. And there's some really cool things to see that when you're out there. Uh, you get to crawl around in the dirt. And just, just enjoy it. Like, it's, it's easy not to uh, take advantage of those things while you're there. But uh, you really should, and you'll have a lot of fun if you just put it on and have fun. All right. What number are we on? Uh, four? Four? Four. Don't be afraid to barf out the window of the car. I never did that. It happens sometimes, and it's okay. Yeah, if you, if you need to barf, just barf. But out the window is better. So let's just say that communication is the key. <laughs> so four, communicate with one another. That is four. I know, oh. that's what I'm saying. I'm reiterating <laughs> number four. Communication is the key. Talk to your team. Become friends. Um, it's easy to take everything and internalize it and not uh, let people know how you're feeling, but letting people know how you're feeling is part of being a community. And I hope that uh, you don't allow yourself to become isolated. Uh, if you have an iPod, turn it off now. Like, I learned in 2007 that uh, I made a lot less friends. What? I made a lot less friends because I was plugged into my stupid iPod the whole time. Uh, so get rid of it, mm -hmm. unless you're using it to take group pictures or something. Okay, five. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. You're going to have so much fun. You're going to so fly on airplanes, fun. trains, yeah, and lots of taxis and bus rides, and wear plenty of uh, mosquito stuff. Because mosquitoes are annoying. Yeah. But um, we love you, and we're just really excited Yeah, we're you. super stoked for you. Yeah. And, and we want to hear it. <coughs> we want to hear your story, so go to Internet Cafes and get in line and maybe make videos and send us stuff like this. Um, yeah. And say hello to the Dalai Lama for me. Uh, he owes me money. Brian, if you can collect that for me, it's like 30 rupees. Um, it's, it's not a lot of money, but he owes me, so... Yeah. Have so much fun, and we're praying for you, and we love you guys. Yeah. Uh, Sababa. Sababa.